Um, this video is for the collaboration with Claire Carmichael. Again, every time I say your name right, I'm gonna mention that I said your name right. Um, <laughs> this part of the video is basically what how I think paramedics and nurses are able to work together to give the most effective emergency care for a uh, patient. So paramedics, uh, they'll be going out to those situations where they will be giving life-saving care. We give the primary emergency care. We don't give that secondary care. As soon as we take that patient to the hospital, we'll hand, them, hand that patient over to the nurses and then they take care of that patient from then on, really. Basically, they are absolutely brilliant at doing that. They are at, Nurses are absolutely brilliant at taking care of patients in the long run. Run, not wood, not Jonathan Wass. Anyway, um, they're actually great at taking care of patients in that long term care. Paramedics, they they are great at taking care of patients in that short term emergency care, and that's and that's how paramedics and nurses are able to work together. We are able to keep that patient alive and healthy for that time span from that incident to the hospital, and even if it's transferring patients, and because we will be seeing nurses quite a lot. Um, we'll have that kind of mutual understanding of what's going on. Obviously, once I start paramedic science, I will get to know how they are able to work together more and how they are able to use able to use both their clinical skills together. Obviously, there are going to be this, things that are the same in both paramedic science and nursing. But before uni, I'm I'm not the best at basically saying how they are able to physically work together, just because I haven't done that yet. And once I do do that, I'll be a lot better at it. I just, I know that um, uh, the paramedics are able to give amazing emergency care. And once it gets handed over to the nurses, they are able to make those big, big choices of the rest of that patient's care. I mean, they are a, paramedics, nurses, doctors, even midwives are able to work together as a team to save a patient's life. Once we are in that hospital, we are able to hand over to that nurse or that doctor, or that midwife, basically what has happened to that patient and any past um, problems with that patient. Um, so nurses are brilliant at that sort of stuff. Once I do get into uni and I'm able to learn how we are able to really communicate with nurses and really help save someone's life with a nurse and have that multidisciplinary kind of team to you know, give that patient the best care pathway and best healthcare pathway that we possibly can and maybe hopefully save that patient's life, which is absolutely brilliant to think about how people are able to work together like that, even though they're in such dip, even though they're in different positions like emergency care, long term care and doctors, they are just absolutely insanely fantastic at that sort of stuff. But yeah, that's just been kind of a little quick overhaul. I haven't really got too much information on it to be honest with you because I'm not in uni so I'm not the best at giving it and the best person to give this to kind of say this sort of stuff to is probably Claire because she's in uni and she will probably be she will be learning how paramedics and nurses are working together so obviously if you are on my channel um, give a little look at Claire's channel and she's brilliant at that sort of stuff but obviously Please come back to my, our channel as well, <laughs> because uh, once uni starts, once I, we do start uni, then it just all becomes real. Then all this information will be coming into my mind straight to your minds. So yeah, that's been me basically saying how I feel nurses and paramedics are able to work together to hopefully save a life. Uh, it's been touring it, guys. Um, I'm really happy doing this collaboration with Claire. It's been absolutely amazing and since it's the first time I've been doing it, it's been completely surreal. Um, being out somewhere in the sea, it's been insane seeing other YouTubers, and, you know, it's just... I, I can't really describe how thankful I am that we're even in the position we are in now. But, yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, like and subscribe, and see you soon. So, wherever you are working as a nurse, you will probably come into contact with paramedics because if you're out in the community, definitely, because they are the first point of call. And I know as a general practice nurse, if I've got a patient that's collapsed or they're having a suspected heart attack and they've come into me, 
I'm going to need to be on the end of that phone, probably to Kyle. Kyle, come on. <laughs> Come and sort this patient out for me because I haven't got a clue. <laughs> I have got a clue. Um, but they're going to need emergency care that I can't provide out in the community. And the paramedics are going to be so useful to me. And you can't think you're never going to see a paramedic, whatever area of nursing you're going to be in, because you will see a paramedic. And when you're working on the wards as well, you might get paramedics bring a patient straight up to your ward or into a &E, if you're in a &E, you're going to be working hands-on with paramedics so your communication with the paramedic is going to be on point it has to be on point because you need that tight communication between each other to know exactly what's going on with your patient and what they need from you to make them better and not only that but handovers massive thing at the minute that we're doing in, at university is all about handing over to somebody else or taking that handover so if you're the nurse on e and a and e receiving that patient or on a ward you're you're having that patient brought into you by the paramedic you need to know everything about that patient before that paramedic leaves because when that paramedic is gone from your your setting you are with that patient and you're going to need to know everything you're going to need to know the allergies the blood pressure all the observations about them what tests the paramedics have already done that could be helpful to you anything that's going on with that patient you need to know every slight detail could be important not only that but when you're handing over a patient so if i'm in general practice i've called the paramedic they come out i'm going to have to hand that patient over they're going to need to know the everything every detail that is wrong with that patient in that moment of time i need to make sure that my communication to that paramedic is clear so that they understand it's precise and that they've got all the information they need because they need to take that patient they need to assess them they need to manage it and figure out where that patient needs to go so then they need to then hand over my information their information onto a and e and maybe a ward so it's just a knock-on effect so from the off go your communication has to be on point and we've been learning lately what we call an sbar tool i'm gonna put the link below for the sbar tool and the sbar tool is basically it's s-b-a-r and it is literally situation background assessment recommendation so you're passing over so that's your handover you're telling them the situation patient's background your assessment and what you've done so that could be observations and things like that and recommendations so you're going to tell them okay i've done this i've given them iv fluids i've given them paracetamol i've given them antibiotics i've done this i've given them aspirin if suspected heart attack or stroke so any advice from you that I can do next while I'm waiting for you to arrive. So that's one of the things that you have to do for recommendations. And also get the person to repeat back what you've said to them so that you know they fully understood all of your information that you've handed over. It's important for nurses and paramedics to work in collaboration. But you have to have that tight collaboration, I feel, with paramedics. And that goes across the board wherever you work. And it is literally down to communication, communication, body language, you know, open body language, be friendly, don't be threatening. I've only ever had to call out the paramedics once. Um, and that was when I was working on my bank shifts out in clinic and we had a patient collapse and they weren't coming around and we were like, oh my God, but they were breathing and everything, but we were really worried about them. And so that's when we had the patient and that's the only time I've had to deal with paramedics. Um, which is lucky for my patients but I love it I love knowing more about different areas different fields of nursing different fields of the healthcare system so the paramedics what they do anesthetists doctors surgeons I love to know because we're, we're all a team together we're all this massive jigsaw puzzle that are making this huge picture which, which actually creates your patient because that's your end result so you've got your patient you've got all these pieces that people are inputting to make up your patient and your patient care and that's so important i think if you are looking to go into nursing or paramedics please do it whichever you choose you're going to have an amazing career and love life and that's it from me so, have so how can paramedics and nurses you know come together and provide effective care i kind of changed that question a little bit but it's kind of the same thing uh, for me as paramedics, we are going to be with nurses all of the time, you know, handing over to patients. Um, so the thing I would probably say, uh, communication is massive. 
uh, in the ambulance service, you need to communicate with the nurse effectively because when, when we hand over the patients to the nurses, we need to get everything across. We need to get all the, you know, like Claire mentioned, all the allergies, um, everything that we need to come across because that, what we say is going to benefit the patient. Obviously, when they accept the patient over as well, they will do a, you know, a proper head to toe um, examination. Uh, but everything we give would would help that patient um, in in his care that he's going to receive at, at the hospital. Uh, so I would say communication is massive. Listening skills is also a very important thing as well. Uh, you're going to be handing over to the nurses, but listening to the questions they have as well um, is also very important uh, if you're going to give the best care. Strictly because if they ask, you know, has his patient got such and such or such and such, if you're not really listening to the nurses, there's no point in you even going to give handover. Uh, you giving that handover is a very, very important for that patient. And if you're not listening to your peers or to the patient when they say, you know, I'm, I'm allergic to penicillin, if you're not listening, uh, it's not good. It's not good. It's not, it's not good. Uh, so listening skills is very important. Uh, if you're going to be collabor collaborating with nurses uh, to provide an effective, not just pre-hospital care, uh, but and hospital care as well, is very important. You know, in, in even in emergency medicine, is very important. Paramedic and nurses are trained, you know, very very high uh, in order to deal with you know difficult situations. Um, sometimes paramedics would you know take over a situation, uh, and sometimes you know. If if paramedic is not sure, they would hand over to the nurses. Uh, for example, if a said patient had a bleed, we would get them to hospital as quickly as we can, and then hand them over um, to the nurses at the hospital. There's some jobs that the nurses couldn't do, you know, pre-hospital, and that's what that's why our us paramedics are there. But there is also jobs that that paramedics couldn't do pre-hospitally, and we have to hand them over to the nurses. So it's very important that we work effectively in order to meet in the middle you know it couldn't be it, it wouldn't work if the nurses would you know come into the pre-hospital care sign a card so, you know it's very important to meet in the middle with nurses and paramedics um, to provide the best care for the patient um, and you know obviously on his journey through the, the pathway of care um, and providing effective care for that patient as well um, so the collaboration with me and Claire is kind of important because I wanted to you know, support nurses. I wanted to support paramedics. The the care that they do, the, the care they provide for the public every day, 24 hours a day, we take it for granted. And there's, there's people working out there like me and Claire who are studying our lives, you know, studying our, our lives away to, you know, provide care. We want to provide effective care for the public. Um, if you didn't, then you wouldn't be going into the sort of job, if you get what I mean. It would affect you that much that you give up, you're going to have difficult shifts on placement. Obviously, Claire will tell you she's been on placement. You're going to see some stuff that you don't want to see. You're probably going to get abused on the front line as a paramedic and nurse. Um, <clears throat> you're going to deal with stuff that you probably didn't even expect you'd deal with, you know, difficult cases. As a paramedic, you're going to be dealing with mental health cases that you're not even really trained for. We're trained to give you know these medicines to you know when people go into cardiac arrest. Um, you know, nurses are very trained highly in dealing with in, in this situation like that as well. But when someone struggles with mental health, it's very difficult. It's very, very difficult. Um, you're going to be seeing stuff that you don't want to see. Um, so if you don't want to go into the into the profession, you're not going to go very far. But if you have what it takes, if you have the passion and determination to achieve your dreams, and you want to provide effective care for the general public it is the profession for you um, and I hope this video has helped people you know I hope it inspires people to join you know either paramedic science or nursing or maybe they will like to go into midwifery they've, they've watched this video and thought actually you know they are following their dreams um, and just because grades you know you might have a really tough time in school you've had a cry you've got yourself a cup of tea a coffee a refreshment and you thought you know what I'm going to do this. And if you just left school um, and you're sitting there on your bed and you think, oh, you know, did I have to, did I have to do, do bad in school? Look at different options. 
go to your local college or local sixth form and say, how can I get into the sixth form? And make a plan of success. That's what I did. It sounds really silly, but where's your next step going? Don't stand still. It's very, it's very easy just to stand still and not progress anywhere. Make steps forward in the right direction. And eventually, I promise you that it would all be worthwhile in the end. And to all you nurses, paramedics out there, um, I respect you and thank you for providing effective and efficient care to us. Like, thank you to my, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. The NHS is amazing. I just want to say, if you have enjoyed this collaboration, um, let us know in the comments because we might be able to do more. A little hint there. Um, if you guys want us to answer any questions that you would like to be answered, drop it down in the comments uh, on Claire's video or my video uh, and we can answer your questions as best as we can, maybe, maybe in the future.